Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, Marinal Missioner, and welcome to our daily Gospel reading and reflection. Today's Gospel reading is according to St. Luke, chapter 21, verses 12 to 19. Jesus said to the crowd, They will seize and persecute you. They will hand you over to the synagogues and to prisons, and they will have you led before kings and governors because of my name. It will lead to your giving testimony. Remember, you are not to prepare your defense beforehand, for I myself shall give you a wisdom in speaking that all your adversaries will be powerless to resist or refute. You will even be handed over by parents, brothers, relatives, and friends, and they will put some of you to death. You will be hated by all because of my name, but not a hair on your head will be destroyed. By your perseverance, you will secure your lives. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Although the instructions and warnings we hear from the Evangelist Luke today is directly related to literal martyrdom, or in other words, red martyrdom undertaken during the persecutions of the early Christians, these same instructions and warnings carry great significance even today either through the witness of our modern-day red martyrs or through the witness of ordinary Christians, such as you and I, through our white martyrdom, that is, seeking Christ through the day-to-day challenges of our lives. The challenges of life are meant to be seen as our opportunity to bear witness. They may seem like just obstacles at first, but in truth, there are grace-filled moments to reveal to others the love and mercy of God. Hence, we should not be too disillusioned or troubled when we face these trials and tribulations of life, especially when it comes contrary to our faith. Rather, we must thank God and deal with these oppositions creatively and proactively so that we can bring good out of evil, truth out of falsehood, love out of hatred, and life out of death. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and wonderful day. If you enjoyed today's gospel reading and reflection, please make sure that you subscribe wherever you're listening to podcasts. Also, if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading, please make sure that you share it with them. To learn more about how you can support the work that Mary Knoll does around the world, please visit us at maryknollsociety.org. And if you're interested in subscribing, to our online magazine, please feel free to visit us at marinolmagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today, and God bless.